Creek here. So today we're going to talk about picky clowns. So my clownfish, when I got her, didn't eat for the first two days. It was super scary, uh, super terrifying. So this is kind of our first foray back into the, uh, you know, fish part of our reef tank. Ever since our last hurricane, we've just had corals. Uh, corals are super easy to take care of, um, at least the kind we have. We have LPS corals or soft corals. Um, so they give us a lot of warning uh, when they you know, start to have bad conditions and they really uh, slowly decline rather than just disappearing. So you get a chance to, to really work well with them. Uh, so fish, on the other hand, you know, we've been hesitant to get back into fish just because we've been really busy with our lives. We didn't want to jump into a fish without getting the tank perfect. We've gotten the tank perfect now. We've cleaned all the live rock uh, by just like kind of brushing it with a toothbrush to get all the hair algae off of it. We've done lots of water changes over the past two months. We've cleaned the sand. So now we have this clownfish and a neon goby. Um, they're both from Petco, so I was a little skeptical just because of that, because you know I've had plenty of uh, you know bad and good experiences from chains like Petco and PetSmart and Pet Supermarket, that sort of thing. Um, nothing against them personally. Uh, you know, I, I love what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you know aquariums and, and reef supplies into the hands of the just the everyday user. You walk into a store, you can grab it, that's awesome. Uh, so we got these fish though. You know, this is our little clownfish here. Um, her name's Mocha. She is a blood orange clown. Uh, so if you've seen my last video, you probably know all about blood orange clowns now. Uh, but she didn't eat for the first two days. So I kind of went through the ringer trying to figure out what she would eat. So first, um, I tried pellets. I figured that's what Petco was feeding her was pellets. So that would work great. Uh, we tried, I think I actually have them here, New Life Spectrum pellets. So. New Life Spectrum, they look like this. Uh, they're really little pellets. I mean, the pellet size was not the problem. It's just that she just didn't even care about the pellets. Now, the first day you get your fish, they're probably not gonna eat at all. They've probably already eaten that morning at the aquarium store, and they're probably really stressed. So they're probably not gonna eat anything the first day they're in your aquarium. By the second day, you would hope they would eat. Um, sometimes they don't. In my case, my clown would not eat anything the second day. So I tried uh, introducing um, pellets and flakes the second day. And I was like, maybe she'll really like flakes. Didn't care at all. She didn't care for the pellets. She didn't care for the flakes. Uh, the flakes we tried, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but maybe I can just put a picture next to me here. Um, but the flakes I've tried are, you know, they've been loved by all my other fish. I've used them for salt, fresh. They really help the color pop. So if you have freshwater fish, you can try these flakes as well. Um, so I really went back to the drawing board and was like, okay, what can I do to make this fish eat? So I know that garlic has been widely used in the aquarium trade, not only to boost the immune system, but also to introduce fish uh, to new foods and make picky eaters less picky. So I, uh, I took garlic and I uh, had like natural, raw, real garlic. And I took it, put it in a press after I took all the little, um, like, uh, uh, the little like husk off the garlic, whatever's on the outside of the garlic, took that off, cut it in half, cut the ends off, took a little green stem out of the middle, put the garlic in the uh, little press and press it into like a paste. Um, you know, I put that paste in water, put the pellets and the flakes in the garlic water. It was water from this tank, so just to make sure I'm not introducing fresh water, uh, you know, accidentally into the tank. So I let that soak for five to 10 minutes, really thought that putting that in the tank would really get this fish to eat. She didn't even care, but she kind of, smelled the garlic, came into the food and was like, oh, what's this? And then I was like, no, I don't really want it. So then the third day comes along and I'm, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've had this fish for three days. I'm just not getting back on my YouTube and this thing's probably gonna die and then I'm gonna look really bad. So what the heck can I do? So I tried feeding her garlic and pellets and flakes one more time that morning. And to my surprise, she ate one bite of garlic, just one. And I was like, okay, so there's hope. So I knew she was interested. She took a bite of the garlic. Um, but then I was like, what other fish food can I try? So I went down to Petco again and I checked out their frozen food section. They had mysis, brine shrimp, blood worms, um, beef heart, all these kinds of frozen foods. Now, I highly recommend you feed your clownfish what is native to their world. So obviously they live in the ocean, so don't feed them beef heart because that's a cow. I mean, there's not many, I, I doubt there's many cow, uh, cow eating clownfish in the ocean. So some people online said that uh, brine shrimp worked well, mysis shrimp worked well, and blood worms worked well, but blood worms are also really unhealthy. They're really high in phosphates and they're really meant for freshwater fish. Uh, so, you know, your mileage may vary there. Um, I was willing to try anything. So I got blood worms, brine, and mysis. Uh, and I came home, first I mixed up the brine shrimp just a little bit, just to try and introduce and see if she's even interested. Put that in the fish tank. She kind of like bit one or two and spit them back out and was not really into the brine shrimp. 
Uh, and that's okay. Brine shrimp are not very healthy. They're not really uh, sustainable long term. So I was kind of glad she didn't really like the brine shrimp. So uh, I tried the mice shrimp and I defaulted them, put them in there, and it was like instantly changed. She was a completely different fish. She instantly started eating the mice. I mean, like the second the mice hit the water, she just started like just munching those things down. It was awesome. So mice shrimp were the key for me. Um, you know, maybe for you, you try something like brine shrimp and they love it and you can transition them to mysis and then transition them to pellets and, or flakes, whatever you have. Um, but in my case, it, the mysis were just plenty. I didn't try garlic and mysis. So if your fish gets to that stage, you've tried flakes, you've tried pellets, you've tried mysis shrimp, you've tried brine shrimp, and they're still not eating it. Um, maybe try getting garlic extract or putting garlic in the water with the mysis and letting it soak for five to 10 minutes. Uh, maybe that will help get them, you know, kind of interested in the food with that garlic scent. Um, now, garlic is also great for their immune system. It's great to help your fish uh, fight off parasites and things like that. Um, from my understanding, it helps their slime coat, like, fight off the parasites and things. Uh, so, you know, that's my word of advice is to try a ton of different foods. Just keep offering foods to your clownfish if they won't eat. And if they've only been in there for a day or two, don't stress. You know, if you get to, like, the third or fourth day and they're still not eating, that's when you should be starting to stress a little bit when you start to uh, try different foods and things like that. If it's only been a day or two, then they're probably still just acclimating like my fish was. Um, once they get acclimated after 48 hours though, they should be ready to take my or brine or whatever. So that's been my story and my experience with this clownfish and getting her to eat. Now she eats like a champ. I fed her uh, you know, every day since and I've just been feeding a little bit of mysis every day just to bulk her up a little bit. Hopefully uh, you know, she'll, start to, she'll start to put some, some mass on her. Um, and then from here on out, we should be good. So I uh, hope to make a lot more videos about this clown in this tank. And I really appreciate you guys watching this channel.